So I got to say, there, there's two big messages here tonight. One which uh, is, is concerning, especially for the northern Bahamas there. 140 mile an hour winds now. Dorian this evening has ramped up its intensity very, very quickly. Uh, the expectation from the earlier forecast that it wouldn't be until Saturday probably that we would see a category four winds. But now tonight it's category four. And I've talked about how these little storms, because they don't have a lot of other activity going on around them, a lot of feeder bands, and all this uh, type of extraneous or accessory stuff going on. They can really spin up quickly. And in fact, that has been the case tonight. Now it's moving to the west northwest at 10. We're still anticipating it to turn more to the west. However, the computer models and this may be if anything, there's some good news in it is in that that the computer models are in better consensus. I'll show you that in just a second because when they're in better consensus, they're kind of on top of each other. Then we have more confidence in their solution. And so let's start with what's going on. First off, 545 miles miles east of West Palm Beach. There it is. The storm size is continuing to grow a little bit. That's the tropical storm force winds. And here's the future track. So now there's no more forecast for uh, category four because it's already category four. There's the Saturday 8 p.m. position. Then it starts slowing down as it reaches the northwest Bahamas. That's the Sunday 8 p.m. position. There is the Monday 8 p.m. position. So now it is Monday evening still over the Bahamas, maybe 24 hours to transit from the Abacos to Grand Bahama there. Then the next forecast point is the one that goes more to the north. Now earlier in the day it was down here, but now it's more to the north. So uh, is it still going to be a turn that goes like this? Is it going to be a gradual turn? It's hard to tell, but it is an indication that the trend of the forecasters at the National Hurricane Center, uh, they're thinking that uh, they're going to follow the models a little bit and nudge it to the north. That brings the cone now up to just Miami-Dade. It's out of the Keys, uh, covers Broward and Palm Beach County. And, uh, and the cone, remember, uh, forecasts where the center is expected to be and then about two thirds of the time. And it's only based on forecaster skills. So the cone, uh, as we're getting closer now where the storm is, is becoming less and less relevant. That being said, we're feeling a little bit better about this. We, we, we would much rather see this than a trend in the other direction or just a trend that is not moving at all. So there's our Wednesday evening position. And now the folks up in Georgia and South Carolina are watching this with great, great, uh, great, great concern. Here are the hurricane warnings tonight. Grand Bahama, the Abacos, Eleuthera, and Nassau Hurricane Watch for Andros. So it's probably pretty likely that the uh, Bahamas are going to get hit. Here was the NOAA plane that was out there this evening. They found the pressure had dropped considerably. Uh, they uh, also found that the winds had come up as well. There's an Air Force plane that's out there now. They've been having some instrument troubles. They're going to try to go in and investigate as well. On the satellite map, you can see it there. Perfectly round eye. All the looks of an intense storm. Could be some interdynamics going on here because the, the western edge is sheared a little bit and also um, uh, contracting a little bit. So here's our forecast models. This is Sunday at 2 p.m. Remember we were talking about these models. We really want them on top of each other because that builds up our confidence that they're going to predict a correct solution. There is Monday at 2 p.m. They're almost on top of each other here, slowing down. Going into Tuesday at 2 p.m., they're still pretty close. The GFS, the U.S. model, is a little bit farther to the west, but they're still very close. And then after that, Tuesday, there's that northward motion. And in fact, it brings it up towards the Carolinas there. That's by Wednesday and Thursday. So we're going to watch it very, very closely because we don't want to be surprised. That's my one rule in hurricane season. Don't be surprised by a storm. The big headlines tonight, though, it's intensified to a Category 4. The forecast track has slowed and shifted slightly north. That slowing down would give us an extra day to prepare. So here's my big statement. Let's pause preparations tomorrow because we still have Sunday if we need to do preparations. Let me repeat that. We're going to pause our preparations tomorrow and then we still have Sunday if we need to start them up again if something changes. I'll talk more on that and we'll talk to the uh, deputy director of the National Hurricane Center coming up in just a little bit.